And today, we have received confirmation of two more cases of the coronavirus. The two have tested positive as a result of coming into contact with the first patient. A pronouncement that has placed the number of coronavirus cases reported in Kenya in less than a week to three. The two additional cases are said to be among the 27 who were in contact with a 27-year-old woman who was confirmed to have the virus on Friday this week. Actually, they are believed to have been on the same plane by the time she was landing into the country. To prevent further spread of coronavirus, President Kenyatta would direct closure of all schools beginning Monday. We have suspended learning in all our education institutions with immediate effect. Consequently, and to facilitate a phased approach, primary and secondary day schools are to suspend operations from tomorrow. Boarding schools will send students home by Wednesday, while universities and tertiary institutions will close latest Friday. All travels from all countries with confirmed cases remain suspended too. The government is suspending travel for all persons coming into Kenya from any country with reported coronavirus cases. Directive to take effect within the next 48 hours to cater for passengers who might be en route. Only Kenyan citizens and foreigners with valid resident permits will be permitted into the country. They will, however, be required to self-quarantine. The head of state who encouraged use of cashless transfers warned against hiking of prices during this period. We encourage the use of cashless transactions, such as mobile money, m -Pesa and otherwise, and credit cards. And we appeal to mobile operators and banks to take note of the situation that we are in and to reduce the cost of transactions. Citizens have also been advised against congregating in crowded places, including places of worship and weddings. I would also appeal for calm. Kenyans, please let us avoid misinformation that causes panic and anxiety. Kenya confirmed her first case of the deadly coronavirus on Friday. The virus was found on a 27-year-old Kenyan woman who traveled into the country via London. All the 27 people believed to have been in contact with the first case have since been isolated at Mbagadi Hospital. 18 African countries have confirmed cases. The worldwide death toll from COVID-19 now stands at 5,720 people. Purity Museo, Channel 1 News.